Hey folks, Ray here, Riverbend Longboats Outdoors, and we're here in New Mexico. And I'm starting my compost heater for the shop. So we're going to test it out on the shop first, and then we'll move to the greenhouse after this. I'm sure it'll work fine, but I'll show you what I'm doing. So I purchased a 100-foot roll of the 4-inch solid wall corrugated field tile, not the perforated solid. And I've cut it in half because 50 foot I'll use for over there, 50 foot here. But I've started a compost bed and I'm drilling in my 4 inch holes. And I picked up some 4 inch duct. And these will go through the wall into the inside, like so, kind of. And I'll have a bottom pipe that'll come in starting low. And as it circles up, I'll put a compost. I gotta go get some manure yet. And uh, as it comes up, then the top pipe will come in here. Eventually that compost will start cooking and getting hot and that warm air, the warmness will pull the cool air, warm it as it circulates and push it through. But I am going to go ahead and order a 4 inch inlined uh, duct fan just to help speed it along. I have a digital thermometer I'm going to keep inside and run a piece of it into the compost so I can keep track of if it's staying warm or not. It has to stay soaked. I'm going to tarp it. It's going to be a whole project. but. I'll share what I can when I can. The sun's already going down here. <laughs> so I'm just getting started tonight. And uh, it'll be kind of as I get time to do it. So, But I will share with you what I'm doing because this is a pretty awesome idea. And that way I have free heat for the wood shop or the bow shop. And then eventually we're going to do the same over there. I already started a pile over there. And we're going to go in the bottom corner over yonder. Sounds like Gretchen over here wants to be involved. Where is she? There she is. Anyway, so that's what we're doing, and uh, stick around. This is going to be over several days series, but uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Try it out, so here we go. What? What's really cool about this idea, too, is that come springtime, we can rotate these out into the gardens and start fresh ones for the next winter, and it'll just be a constant rotation. That's our plan. We're not spending any money on energy other than a, you know, a fan pulling some air, which I will eventually hook that up to a solar system. So I'm not, it'll be completely efficient. So, uh, yeah, pretty excited about it. There. Got him inside the shop. All right, got them sealed up pretty good, scooped in, let these set overnight, and then tomorrow we'll do some more. All right, so basically it'll be kind of like this. Of course, that loop will come in tighter. I'll stake this and raise these up in layers. I just did this for tonight, so it's plugged up, and I don't have mice going in and out of the shop. So, All right, that's enough of the thumbs. Day two of some of the compost heater project. We got it going amongst them for a few minutes and then we're going to stop by if you've been following for the last few years. The Airbnb that we stayed at, what, three years ago, almost four. And uh, he's got some horses with some manure, so we're going to get some of that for adding some nitrogen to the compost and heating them up. So stick around. What a load of crap. If you remember, this is where we stayed a couple times. It's really nice. I'll leave a link below in the description. I apologize for all the crappy footage. All right, got manure home. Now I'm going to get my post set so I can raise my pipe up different levels and start putting in compost. We'll try to get done as much as possible. My nephew's supposed to be here any minute now, so... We'll stop when he shows up and visit, but it's over to it. Can't find the post hole. Banger wanger.
Break time. Oh. This will just kind of hold it in place till I get compost in between each layer and mix in the manure and all that. I might have to put a third bus, it looks like maybe. Don't know. Real messed up. Anyway, I gotta find a third post. Found one. Alrighty. Alright, so now I'm just going to start adding layers of manure, carbon material. That's what we're going to do. Get out of there. <laughs> We'll have to go get more manure. Yeah, I quit eating it. Dogs. I've got other piles of compost material yet. You can add to it. About 10 years supply of leaves, so we'll have plenty of insulation. Now once we get this built up, we're going to soak it real good to the bone. And that'll help start the reaction of the nitrogen from the manure and the carbon. And it'll start heating up. Science! Thanks, up. All right, well, that's a pretty good start. I even layered it as best I could with manure and carbon manure, carbon material. Heaped it up, so now I'm gonna find some wire panel to put around it, close it off, and then we're just gonna start piling leaves on top until it's just good and fluffy. And so, of course, we're gonna soak it first. But I'm wiped out. I'll be tomorrow. We'll see you then. All right. Well, we located some more posts, and I can get my wire up around the compost. We're back on that. It's a few days later, and uh, I'm gonna go up and find the uh, post driver. So, here we go. <laughs> I grab five. I only grab four. I gotta go get another one. Oh. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Testing one, two. All right. Well, the chain link worked. I got it kind of draped around there. I'm going to kind of pin it up. And then I might put a piece of half inch PVC that I have in the top to kind of hoop out the top so it'll hold the leaves better. So that's what we're doing. All right, so I got it wired around. I was able to pull the slack in there. Some of this insulated this the heat source one. I'll have to finish wrapping it later. But And I didn't have any PVC, but either way, we'll get some leaves and pack that sucker full. Definitely don't have a shortage of leaves. Continue that around and then I'm going to soak it down in the middle really good and before I cover it up. Alright, well I'm basically going to just be doing the same thing for the next four or five trips. So I'll spare you the details and I'll show you the end results. Alright, that filled to the top. But now I'm going to use my rain barrel and soak down the center real good so it gets good and wet. And uh, yeah, and then we got to run to town. <laughs> That bucket's got holes in it. So, first test. Got the uh, compost all set up. I haven't got the inline fans yet, but I got my little USB fan hooked up to my solar generator. I'm just curious what kind of heat will be coming out now already. Definitely not cold there, that's for sure. Of course, it's not really cooking down just yet, but what I also am going to do is I'm going to put more leaves on, pack it down good, wrap it with the tarp, get the greenhouse effect going, insulate my pipe, finish that out. So once we do that, we'll do another update and I'll show you what's going on. And I've got a electronic therm thermometer like the mountain here. I run a wire out into the compost pile so it tells me my core temperature of the compost. So we'll get back to that. My room temperature right now is 59. I'm going to stick this in here. And we'll just see what kind of the air temperature is in a bit. On a side note, we had wolves right on the creek this morning. Um, you can watch my Instagram stories. I'll share a clip here. Pretty cool. Some people spend their entire life hoping to see one, let alone hear one. <laughs> I'm just having coffee. So cool. Wolves on the creek. So I've let that go for about 15 minutes. We're pushing uh, about 54 degrees. Which isn't too bad being it's in the high 30s right now outside. So I'm predicting with my experience with composting, once it starts cooking down, we're probably going to be averaging, I don't know, 80 to maybe even possibly 100 degree Fahrenheit air out of that once I get it all buttoned up. So stay tuned. All right, folks, I finished her off. Got her topped off with leaves. I'll get her wet again and then tarp it should start cooking. Now we get it good and wet and then uh, I'm going to tarp it, get the greenhouse thing going on it, greenhouse effect, and then we'll keep you posted. Alright, get the tarp on the top at least to help hold some moisture from evaporating right out. My bigger tarp in the crawl space still, I'll have to get it. and. Do the rappy roo but get in there good morning well we're about in the second week of november now already i'm gonna get back on the compost we've kind of got sidetracked we've had snowstorms i don't even know where this video is coming into play at but i made an aerator slash soaker pole for the uh, compost and what i'm gonna do is attempt to shove it down in there and uh, run water so i can get the inside saturated and then I got a cheap bottle of uh, 
Coke Cola, Cola, and then I'm going to pour it in there, and the sugars and carbonation and stuff will help activate the uh, compost to start cooking faster. It is warm, but it's not really cooking yet, so we're going to try that, so stick around. Yeah, I wish I would have taken this top off before we got all this moisture, and I wouldn't have to do this, but we got busy. We had CDT hikers doing trail angel stuff. <laughs> Camping, all kinds of stuff. We just got back last night from camping, so I'm behind. But it is warming up. I checked the temperature, and we're about 60 degrees, but I'd like to get this about 85, 90. And I don't have to worry about it uh, very much this winter as far as heating the shop. So, here. Okay, here goes nothing. I'll just kind of guess a few minutes here and there everywhere. Put it in a different spot. Maybe hit the pipe there. I think this is crazy enough to work. When I took the spray nozzle off so I can get full volume of water. working I think I finally got it pretty saturated my cola found an elbow I'm just gonna dump her in hope for the best we'll take a uh, reading of current temperature and then we'll check it in a few days see what's going on I'm gonna go ahead and soak it a little bit more and then cover it up and We'll go from there. So. I think it's going to work. Alright, so we're holding steady at a little over 60 degrees, 65 ish. So, in a few days, we'll check it and see if our temperature starts rising as the uh, compost starts cooking. So we'll be back. Well folks, it is Thanksgiving Day, so it's been almost exactly a month since I started building this. Things have changed a little bit. I found some heavy 6 mil plastic and I've wrapped it. I've added more manure. I've added some greens from the house. We're starting to add compost and stuff to it. I've made it where I can take the top off easily, dig out the center, kind of stir it, make some stuff in, and I kind of accelerate it so it is heating up good now. Hope you've enjoyed this. Um, first time ever doing this. If somebody else is out there and they've done this and can help others, leave it in the comments. I'd like to know your progress. And we're going to keep uh, doing this so we can get it going for the greenhouse. It probably won't be this year because we've got a lot of other stuff we got to get done. But hope you enjoyed this and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.